Hey everybody, George Chamberlain here watching your dollars on this Friday. It is the 4th of November. Hope you all have a good weekend in store. Try to stay dry out there, okay? Um, I want to talk a little bit about leadership today. And one of the stories I've followed for many, many years has been the, the story of Starbucks and the success the company has had and some difficult times that it's been through. Probably one of the great leaders in corporate America today is Howard Schultz. He's not the founder of the company. Uh, but there's a very interesting story about how he got involved. He went to work for Starbucks up in Seattle when it was just basically a coffee roaster. And they had one, one shop. And if you're familiar with the Seattle area, it was right across the street from the Pike Place Shopping Center there. And it has become a bit of a, almost a, um, a shrine, if you would. It's still there today, and it's, a, it's always a place whenever I go to Seattle, I always swing in there for a cup of coffee. He told the management of the company, I think we could do some great things here. They, they, he had seen the popularity of the coffee shop. And they said, listen, Howard, we really don't need your help. But just run the business as we hired you, and we'll go from there. He walked out the door, uh, made a few co phone calls, went back in, quit and then bought the company with some financing with some, some associates. And it has it really been one of the great entrepreneur stories. And the importance of Howard Schultz is something that you really have to pay attention to. I want to show you a stock chart of uh, Starbucks. And this goes way back uh, quite a few years to uh, what this is, uh, 1992. And the company was just really kind of getting its legs there and then really started to take off and grow. And you can see that movement in the stock price here. Right around in here, uh, the company was really firing on all cylinders, growing rapidly, and Schultz said, you know, I've had a good run here. I'm going to step down as the guy that runs the company day to day. And so the, the work he'd done continued to build and build, and, and he was still involved with the board of directors and stuff like that, and it got up here. Schultz is now separated from the company in many ways. Again, still involved. But the new management, the new people running it day to day, made some big mistakes. And look what happened to the stock price. It plunged down in here. Right about down in here, Schultz said, you guys have really messed up this great company that I created. So he came back and took over the day-to-day -day operations of the company. And look what happened to the stock from there. Pretty impressive bounce. Uh, the, the stock doesn't reflect what's going on today. Let me see if I can, if you bear with me for one second. Let's go back and just look at what the stock's doing today. It opened here and it's up, uh, it's up about $3 a share today. After the close yesterday, it reported very, very strong sales and said they're going to go ahead and open about 800 new uh, coffee shops in 2012, half of them here in the United States. Schultz is one of my favorite people out there. I've had the, the real great fortune to interview him a couple of times, and he tells a great story, and he's a very humble man and very proud of the work that he's done, the jobs that he's created and stuff like that. You ever want to read a great book about management? He's written several, but the one he wrote quite a few years ago was called Pour Your Heart Into It, and it's a great story about the startup of Starbucks. Watching your dollars, I'm George Chamberlain. Have a good one.